the final item on the agenda tonight is this year's nativity play. Yes, now Mr Sims is adamant that we should still be going ahead with the play despite, well, everything, everything going, going on. on. Yes, exactly. My own main concern is how do we make it relevant? Can and I just butt in here? So fully expected you to, so. So I've written a new version, it reflects our current times and I'm being humble when I say it's the best thing I've ever made. And what exactly is this new version? So basically, the innkeeper, probably played by Matthew Jacobs in year two, because I think he shares that natural lack of ambition. Anyway, the innkeeper's doing okay. Four out of five stars on TripAdvisor, not bad. But as Mary and Joseph come knocking, Jerusalem's been put into tier three lockdown. Shit the manger. Right. Right, I just want to make sure we're being inclusive. You know, this is not a... Christian only school? Yeah, what, what about Sam Walton? Because his parents are Scientologists. Is that that kid in year four with the bent head? Oh my God, Mark. Oh, is that not him? Well, yeah, that's him, but... Well, obviously he can be the spiritual alien Gabriel. Oh my God. So as I was saying, the three wise men, they... Sorry, I hate to say it, but is there no room for a wise woman in there? Good point, Claire. But they can be whatever gender they like, as long as they're wise. Well, wise enough to know how Zoom works because they got a dial in due to the travel ban. Okay. okay, could we all just take a second to remind ourselves of why we do a nativity play? I guess it's to remind our children and parents that, I guess, no matter what their background or their cultural beliefs, that we all have a part to play in the telling of this crazy story we call life. No! <laughs> no. No, it's so we can have an absolute mad one in the staff room come 4pm on a Tuesday. Claire, I want the shots lined up before the bell goes this year. Fuck yeah. That's my girl. Chug, 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 chug,